This is the Apple AirPods second generation, or as other people like to call it, AirPods 2. My dad bought these to watch YouTube content or Facebook content, whatever he watches, but I obviously took it to do an unboxing and to get views. So the reason I got the second generation instead of the first generation, firstly future proofing, since it is a newer product it will last more longer so this will probably last 2, 3, 4, 5 years even or probably longer so that's one of the first reasons I got the second generation. The second reason is that AirPods 2 is the same price as the AirPods 1 so they're both I think £160 so I have no reason why to get the older version. Alright enough with the talking and rambling here is the box itself. One of the most satisfying thing to do is to cut open the plastic. So you're firstly greeted with this leaflet that says designed in California and inside it you'll find more leaflets, uh, the quick start guide and other tutorials if you're not sure how to pair the airpods and you're not sure what the features of it are. As well as the leaflets, unfortunately you don't get Apple stickers so you know with most Apple products like the iPhone or an iPad you do get Apple stickers to, uh, I don't know, stick it on your TV or something. Unfortunately with the AirPods it doesn't have Apple stickers if you are wondering. Putting that aside, here's the AirPods itself. And below that if you lift the flap you will actually find a USB-A to lightning cable. I saw that on Twitter and TikTok many people forgot that there's a flap underneath that you can lift and then there's actually a cable. Many people forget that for some reason. So yeah make sure to use the cable provided inside the box since it's free. And here it is the airpods. These are extremely glossy and reflective, it has a solid metallic hinge at the back and at the bottom you will find the lightning port to charge it. In order to pair the airpods with an iPhone or an iPad, it's really quick and simple, you just literally open the case, you should get a prompt on your iPhone saying if you want to pair the airpods. So just click connect and they should take around maybe 5 seconds to pair for the first time. And after that it literally takes I think around 1 second or quicker. In order to pair with an Android phone like Samsung, you have to press the button at the back, well you have to hold it actually and you have to wait for the flashing white light and once it starts flashing white, you go inside settings on your Samsung or whatever Android phone you have, you go inside connection, Bluetooth and the AirPods should appear there. Click on that and yeah you should be paired. When you pair it with an iPhone or an iPad you can customize it so you can choose what the left AirPod or the right AirPod does. For example on the left AirPod you can increase or decrease the volume and on the right AirPod you can tap it to play, uh, pause, skip music, rewind music, things like that. Unfortunately you are not able to do this with an Android phone but you can with a third party app found on the Play Store. There are many apps on the Play Store such as Android Pods, Material Pods, Air Droid, uh, Air Battery, Assistant Trigger, there's many third party apps on the Play Store which you can download and customize the controls on your Android phone. Alright so comparing it against the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, the AirPods case does seem tinier and it is more, a bit more compact. When I put it up against the camera, these, both of these look massive but in real life I can guarantee you that they're really tiny and they fit inside your palm. The earbuds themselves, they both have different designs. So on the AirPods you have a stem design where it sticks out, out of your ear and the Galaxy Buds, well it doesn't have a stem. The benefit of the stem design is that it does have better microphone quality. But that doesn't mean the Galaxy Buds Plus has terrible microphone, that too has decent microphone quality. The Buds Plus has actually three microphones in fact. So there's one microphone inside the ear and two sticking outside. Both the AirPods and the Galaxy Buds, they do have pretty good audio quality. The Buds Plus has a sealed design but the AirPods has an open ear design. Sadly the AirPods doesn't fit in my ear shape, literally I, d I don't know why, when I try to put it in my left and right ear, my ears have weird shapes so it doesn't fit, it doesn't stay put and it kind of falls out every time I'm running or walking. So in terms of sound quality, the Galaxy Buds Plus does sound slightly louder and it does sound like it has more bass to it. But that does make sense because the Buds Plus has a sealed ear tip design, hence why it has more bass. 
I prefer the AirPods case, the Tic Tac box design because it's really small and compact, it's thin, but I prefer the Buds earphones themselves because the sound quality is overall better and since it does have a sealed design it does block like almost half of the ambient noise so if you've got someone talking next to you or there's some other static noise next to you it does do a decent job at blocking that noise out but not everyone likes the sealed design as I said before because it can make you feel stuffy and it does feel weird kind of for some people but thankfully the Galaxy Buds Plus it does have an ambient sound mode for those who dislike the stuffy feeling also the second generation AirPods, it does tend to have a lower latency, I think some people said up to 30% lower latency. So when you're watching content on Netflix or Facebook or WhatsApp, whatever app you're using, it, you should notice a lower latency, a lower delay time. The second generation also uses Bluetooth 5.0 instead of Bluetooth 4.2, once again this is future proofing. Also it does use the H1 chip over the W1 chip. I believe the H1 chip is more efficient so that's what gets you the 1 hour of extra talk time battery and the H1 chip is responsible for lower latency times. So AirPods 2 it has two versions, the first one is the wired case and then the second version is a wireless case. The reason I got the wired case version is because firstly my, I doubt that my dad is going to use wireless charging for AirPods and second reason is that wired charging is much faster and it's more efficient on small devices like AirPods or Galaxy Buds. Also the normal version is £160 whereas the wireless charging case it cost £200. On the Galaxy Buds and the Buds Plus the wireless charging case comes standard which I think is really generous and I wish that Apple included it as standard. The AirPods has extremely fast pairing when you're pairing it with an iPhone or an iPad but the Buds Plus it does take around a second longer to pair on a Samsung or even an iPhone so the AirPods are fast at pairing compared to the Buds. Talking about the AirPods case once again, the case is extremely, extremely, extremely satisfying. Yeah, the Buds Plus has a nice case, it looks nice and it does, it does have a magnet when you shut it, but the AirPods has an overall nicer case and it's more satisfying. When you shut the lid, it does have a high pitched sound compared to the Buds Plus. So some people, they like to fidget a lot and they get distracted quite easily. So I think that <laughs> for £160, this could be an equivalent to a fidget spinner. Literally all day long, I'm just opening and closing the case because it's so satisfying. So I won't do a review on these, I'm just doing an unboxing. I'm not doing a review because I personally won't use it. So if I did miss out on anything or I didn't cover anything and you've still got a question about it, then comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I feel like I'm missing something out or I didn't include something in this video. So yeah, just comment down below and I'll try to answer. That's it for today, bye.